afternoon. Yes. Uh, we are due to some technical problems uh, from Professor uh, Galal Osman in Egypt. Uh, we have uh, planned to uh, take his presentation tomorrow. And instead of uh, Anna Kranz, uh, will come in and telling about the uh, catalog for small wind. Uh, it's a catalog uh, which uh, Anna will rep uh, present for you now and, and tell about. Anna Kranz, uh, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Hello. Hello, everybody. I hope you had a good night and uh, I hope you're all fresh and, uh, well, yeah, it's 11 o'clock. Thank you for, for um, having me at this uh, moment. I would like to tell you about a catalog of small wind turbines. It is a book that Falke Center has been producing since some good years. And uh, a few years ago, I kind of took it over and um, I'm making it now. As, and we, will, we are working on the ninth edition. You probably have, should, I don't have a PowerPoint presentation, but I have the book in my hands. This is the last issue, number eight from four years ago. And now we are working on uh, catalog number nine. And um, it was supposed to be out last year, but due to personal reasons, I was not able to work on it. But also it kind of strangely fits in a way because what happened with Corona this year, it changes the, the, the market a little bit. And we are updating all the information this year to see how what influence uh, corona and uh, the situ global situation had on the on the market of small wind turbines which kind of makes sense in a way so basically the catalog it is a size a4 it it, it consists of three parts uh, the first part is a presentation of our partners second part and i will explain you a little bit more second part is something well that I introduced some years ago to the, some years ago to the catalog. It's I call it a front matter. It's these are articles which explain the situation of of the market. They they cover different issues, which are connected to small and medium wind turbine turbine industry. And the third part is actually the the catalog itself, where we list all the companies we can find which produce small wind turbines, small and medium wind turbines, up to 50 kilowatts. So they are really small. Uh, and the catalog, the reason to do it, the main goal of the catalog is to support the industry. Because that industry of small and medium wind turbines, it, um, it kind of goes sometimes through hard phases. And if we want to support it, that's why we also, among many other things, we do something which we have in the hand. Um, a catalog which should be fine for the users, for people who want to buy a small wind turbine, but also for other companies because we, they can simply come see who is doing what. We list different parameters which one can compare. It's quite easy to to compare each company. They all should list the same features. We always have a picture and the address of the company and different models up to 50 kilowatts. So the main goal is to support the industry, to give it kind of a physical manifestation for all of us, for the manufacturers and for the users. They can see what's going on in the world. They can see, they can choose, find out who is doing what. So that's the goal of that uh, catalog. I have here one older one, which is from 2014. Yeah, it's, um, the, the, the form was the same. Well, yeah, kind of, they look like this. And um, so, um, as I said, we have three parts of the catalog. In the first part, we list our partners, which we have, because we have different associations which help us to build a catalog, mainly with, um, with information and data on, on the situation in different countries. And this year, the, of course, Falke Center is, is the produ producer of the catalog. And um, this year, we have, again, the partners, the World Wind Energy Association, 
we have the Danish Association for Small and Medium uh, Wind Turbines, Morten, who can tell you more about it. For the first time, we have Swedish Wind Power Association, thanks to Sven Ruin, who is also here. Um, and um, yes, well, the Chinese uh, Wind Energy Association this year is not there because China goes through, well, I would say they, they uh, have some difficulties and they concentrate on a big scale. The small wind is still being produced, but they seem not to have a body of representation, like an association, um, which is also a sign for all of us to see where where things are going well, where things are missing. And another partner is the Ashikaga Institute of Technology, like last year, maybe uh, Indian uh, Association for Wind Turbines. And um, yep, that would be it. So we present the partners who help us gather information. And then in the middle part, which I said, I call it front matter, but it's the matter, the content, the information part. I think it's, um, because you see, if we do the catalog every now and then, every few years, and there's a catalog for that year of wind turbines, I specific, we specifically want to also have articles which, which are educational. Because, for example, this year we will have an article by Sven Ruin, who is writing about the certificates. Why, why making certification? What are they? What do they mean? For a regular person who is not a specialist and who gets that catalog, like a user. Oh, I want to buy a wind turbine. Let's see what's in there. The, the engineer of wind turbines, they may not have to know about it, but if they read Sven's text, they will know what does it mean to make certifications and why is it important. So that catalog is also part of the education. And this catalog is also part of the Focus Center's publishing series called Open Knowledge. As you may know, Focus Center has always been publishing things since many, many years. And um, this knowledge is very important for all of us. And this, and it was always, like, you know, the Danish people the, 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 in, the, in the 70s and 80s, when they, they, they were pioneers and they shared the knowledge. Today, nobody's sharing any knowledge because it's all patented and it's all secret and big companies, Bill Gates, everything, it's all closed. But Focus Center is still continuing that open knowledge, open sharing information for the good of the world, of all of us. Yeah? So keeping information for, for ourselves makes no point because we are all on the same boat. So coming back to Spence Tech's certificates, we also have the uh, article from Fritz Og, who is also here sitting somewhere, uh, about the role of small wind turbines. So why should we have small wind turbines? And what is the meaning and the role? It's fine, very fine for everybody to read it. So I think it's, um, and hopefully we will also have something about standards and more, uh, more uh, about standards in wind turbines. So we are working on in that subject yet still. Uh, so that's the second part. We will also publish probably the declaration of, of uh, which we had uh, written last, at the last conference at the Focus Center, where we were physically there. Um, and the last part of the catalog is exactly as I said, the catalog itself, yeah? So we have different companies, photo address information, and the list of features of each model of a wind turbine which is very simple to see. You can actually compare all the data if you want. So basically, that's the catalog. And we would like to remind, no, we would like to, to say that um, it's important because this way we can really kind of support the industry. Give it a face, give it a product, give it a... If you see so many wind turbines in one place, you see, oh, it's a variable market it is power kind of uh, we hope it will help the industry and uh, we are all asking you if you want to join the work on the catalog if you know any companies um, that produce small and medium wind turbines up till 50 kilowatts up until 50 kilowatts then please 
send us a message, write us an email. Uh, we will, of course, include uh, uh, these companies in the catalog. We do not judge these companies. We simply put them on these pages. The, we are not judging or saying this one is good or not, because that's why the certificates are for and testing. It's not our role to check every wind turbine if it's really working. This is not our role. This is the role of testing stations. Um, not that book. Uh, of course, we include information if turbines are tested. So basically, we are all welcoming you if you want to join and see. Hopefully, this will help the industry and will make it more powerful, which we wish to everybody in the world, you, us, everybody. I guess that is it, if you have any questions. Thank you very much, Anna. It was a good introduction to the catalog, and I hope that uh, your presentation will uh, let people see closer into this in the future. Are there, as Anna said, any questions, please raise them. It doesn't seem so, but uh, that means also that we can um, uh, go to the uh, next. Oh, sorry. Oh, there is a question. Sorry, there is a, a, a question from Nisa. Uh, please come in, Nisa. Yes, uh, hello Anna, and uh, thank you very much for your uh, presentation. Uh, so, uh, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I just have to find you and see you. Well, yeah. I don't have to. Yes, I can hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, my question is, um, with regards to our project, Anipco Rotor, we are still at uh, R&D phase. We still do not have any market production. Uh, we do not have, you know, still don't sell these turbines so my question is there uh, any section or maybe any future conditions for maybe something like uh, uh, new potential research or something like that in your catalog no but it seems it's a cool idea no we we on now at this moment we only show um wind turbines which are on the market yeah because it's a market uh situation but it seems that it might be a very interesting um content for the articles to write about it to write about the um yeah what is being researched and developed and um about new inventions i'm quite open to it if you um we can actually be in touch and if we have um if we find somebody who can have a good overview on that matter I don't know if we managed for this year's catalog, but maybe we can include this in the next year because it's quite interesting, I guess, for everybody to see where is the research going? Which models are being developed? It's so visionary, you know, like all these many, many new wind turbines have different forms. Uh, maybe they work in a different way. It's probably very inspiring, I can imagine we could actually maybe be in touch. I'm not sure if we manage this time, but I write it down. I think it's a great, great inspiring idea to talk and to write about innovations and research. If we can be in touch, something is here. Uh, we could actually definitely um, think about it. It's a cool idea. We okay, can Th thank you very much. I, I will... Be in uh... touch. Yes, I will send you a private message with my contact so we can organize something. Yeah, thank I you for your time. Get this message here. Thank you as well. It's a thank you for this idea. Well, thank you I, very mm -hmm. much. We have thank another you. question from, I oh. hope I can pronounce it the right way, Min Tao uh, Newman. Okay, thank you so much. So uh, uh, I saw interested in the book and then i i'm wondering because you know every day or every single hour we have a lot of uh, induct uh, uh, uh commercial company they uh, in, in regarding the small window bike and employed in the uh, commercial market 
So if someone buys a book, and then how we can keep update? Because you know, every day we, so it means every year or every month, we need to buy a new book or? Yeah, yeah well, no, but um, of course not, because nobody can actually produce a new catalog every month. It's like uh, uh, updating companies and seeing what they produce, um, it's, it's, it's a huge job. It's not really um, possible physically for, I will have to be a team. We will try to do it more regularly, at least once a year. It depends on, 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 on the situation. As I said, this year it was my private situation. That's why it didn't happen. But it's also an interesting issue, how to keep things updated. Yeah? Of course, if it was possible to do it every year, which we might consider and see if it's possible, then you have to live with the idea that we update it once a year. Maybe a company, well, I see now while working at this catalog, for example, I had a list from the last time, from the last catalog. And when I checked this year, well, last year, how, how things changed, for example, the shocking thing was that, for example, in Canada, there are no other, no companies suddenly. Yeah, some years ago, Canada had some companies um, doing small wind. How many? I don't remember. Now I have to check, but quite many. Yeah, I go through a few pages. Some years later, none. So that's why updating is, of course, important. You can see companies come and go, come and go. New appear, some disappear. That is very right and important. But at the moment, the reality is so that when you get the newest catalog in your hand, it will have to last for at least a year until we make a new one. But then if you take a look at each company, there we have the website of that company. Then you would have to go to that website anyway and see by yourself. Maybe the company is dead, maybe not. We hope not because we, we wish for all the companies to survive especially the corona crisis yeah yes. at some point um there is nothing we can do because we cannot update it every month physically. yeah so my suggestion why you just only create very simple website i mean that may be only one block so and then you just only write down if some the company got is it and is that deleted and if some company so why because you know also kind of climate changing sustainable why every year you need to print the the book uh, yes so what, uh, why you come up with this idea uh, without printing the book well focus center has always been a, a, in a way of course very digital but on the other hand quite uh, physical and analog just to include all these people who are less digitalized so focus center offers knowledge in both ways yeah like online but also physically on paper because this stays for years and focus center if you have if you have been there or not in one of the buildings of focus center there's a huge library from the 70s of different books from new experimental college and for many people paper is still important of course, we have many journals and magazines being printed every month. Fine. They go for a month, they are then gone. You know, many magazines. This catalog is, of course, once a year, but then you still have that middle part, the educational part, where you can always go back to and keep that on your shelf. You don't have to throw it away. So that's why it was important to keep that knowledge part. And I think that. Uh, it's really true not everybody is digitally skilled and sometimes it's difficult i see it from myself if you want to find let's say a chinese wind turbine company well going through chinese websites if you don't know chinese is a challenge it is a challenge let me put it this way um, so that's why here you have it on paper but the idea, what you're saying, to make this as a website, that we will have to think about because it sounds actually also, again, inspiring. I write it down. This uh, we will discuss at the Falka Center team. 
I'm not to decide, but I write it down because it makes sense. Thank okay. you very much, Anna. I think we should uh, continue with the next uh, participant.